I am sure you figured out by now that the judiciary cannot work on its own to maintain the law of the land. It needs some help from a few other services, and we refer to these as the protective services. The first of these that we'll look at quickly is the police force. The police force works with the judiciary by enforcing the laws of the land. The judiciary is the arm of government that has to do with the maintenance of law. So it interprets law, it applies law, and provides justice to all. The police force helps the judiciary in enforcing the laws of the land. The police have several roles. As you can see, these roles are wide in variety. They go from regulating traffic, that is a, a transportation issue, to being in neighborhoods, monitoring and patrolling, to court work, providing evidence in court, to going to schools and in communities to speak to people about what is good behavior. They also stand guard and give security at government buildings and they do many other things. These are just some examples of the rules of the police force. The second protective service that you need to be aware of is the prison service. Obviously, if the judiciary is interpreting and applying the law of the land and people are found guilty of committing offenses against the law of the land or against another person, these people are going to be need to be kept somewhere. Hence, we have the prison service. The prison service manages people who are one- convicted of criminal offenses and sentenced to serve hard labor. You would maybe hear people refer to it as hard time. Secondly, the prison service manages people who are in default of court orders. For example, if there is a father who is supposed to make monthly payments to his children, let's say child support payments, that was ordered by the court, by the magistrate's court. If he fails to do that, then he would be accepted into the prison service. And thirdly, the prison service manages people who are charged for committing offenses but have been granted bail. There are some offenses that when people commit them, they are not considered to be dangerous to the public. In those cases, people would be granted bail. But the bail needs to be paid before they are allowed to leave. And so they are kept in the prison service until such time when either they or someone else can pay the bail to get them out. Prison officers are responsible for many things, but here are just some examples of responsibilities that they have. They need to safely house all detainees. So whatever your reason is for being in prison, they need to provide safe housing for you. They need to ensure that food and other amenities are provided to all detainees. So food, proper sanitation, water, or somewhere to sleep, these must be provided to all people who are in prison. They need to allow visits to prisoners by relatives, friends, or lawyers. And they need to conduct rehabilitation programs for prisoners. Because for those people who are in prison, because they are considered harmful to society, the aim of the prison service is not to keep them away from society just because they're dangerous. The aim is to keep them away from people while rehabilitating or reforming them so that when they are able to leave the prison service, they can return to society and become productive members once again and not commit more crimes to end up back in the prisons. That is the role of the prison service.